Is it? Well, it would appear that some people never learn. The result has come in for the Peterborough by-election and Labour have taken the victory. To say that I'm disappointed with that is an understatement. Because the woman that they have elected in is up to her neck in anti-Semitism. She's a staunch Corbynite and Labour themselves have even come out and admitted that they were banking on the Muslim vote to propel them to victory. So it just goes to show you the way the fan base of Labour is at these days. It would appear that one of my other videos where I titled it The Only Way Is UKIP, that people have not listened to my warning, that if you continue to vote in the way that your dad did, your granddad did, his granddad before his granddad did, we will continue to get Labour in these Labour strongholds, in the places where we need serious change. Now on the subject of Labour, the behaviour of Jeremy Corbyn while President Trump was visiting our shores has been nothing short of an utter disgrace. First of all, he turned down his visit, his invitation to the Queen's banquet because he didn't want to meet the big bad wolf. Now if that's not bad enough, I mean, let's face it, you know, it's like this is a... He's, he's the leader of Her Majesty's opposition. He's not some student activist anymore that goes shouting fascist at everybody. You know, remember who you are, mate. Remember what your place is. And not only has he refused the invitation, that he has actually addressed Trump protesters at the same time as addressing Trump protesters, he's accused President Trump of not wanting to meet him. Now, if you are going to want to, if he wants to meet President Trump, which you would assume by that statement that he does, you would have thought that the solution would be very simple. Accept your invitation to the Queen's banquet, mate. That way that you can get to meet Donald Trump, and you can have all the dialogue you want. We're not talking rocket science here, are we? But that's too difficult for Jeremy Corbyn. What he'd prefer to do is he would prefer to refuse the invite and address his protesters at the same time, condemn Donald Trump for not wanting to meet. Is it for real? I just want anybody out there who is a, a Labour supporter who can't think of anything else to vote for because they've voted Labour all their lives. Just take a look at this presidential visit to show the hypocrisy of Jeremy Corbyn, Emily Thornberry, the woman who sneered at working class people a couple of years ago, Sadiq Khan, who has criticised Trump over his treatment towards women at the same time and as uh, endorsing an event that forced women to take uh, a separate entrance in to the men and presumably sit separate to the men in the building. A very good video by Anne-Marie Waters has come out highlighting this to more detail than what I will go into here. So guys... This is Labour, laid bare over this last week. And a message to the Tories out there. If you do not book up your ideas, you are going to allow this man to stroll into number 10 without any check whatsoever. We will have Corbyn government in the next general election if you do not seriously do something. You are going to have to get off of your assholes and you are going to have to fight 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 to keep this man out because right now he's going to walk in unchecked and to the viewers who 
are going to vote for the Brexit party who did in Peterborough. They did well, but they didn't win it. But the Brexit party does not have any domestic policies and also it's faced with a dilemma. It's got a wide range of uh, people in its party. You're talking about having to marry the views of staunch Conservatives with staunch Labour uh, MPs. And that's going to be difficult for them to form a manifesto based on that. But UKIP. I know that they took a battering. But I'll be interested to see who comes into the leadership. And if you're a UKIP member like me, I would adv advise you not to vote for Mike Hookham. Mike Hookham is the man who allegedly punched Stephen Wolfe in the EU Parliament. And Stephen Wolfe is a guy that I was really hoping was going to make it as the UKIP leader and he decided to pull out after that. Mike Hookham claims he didn't punch him, but Stephen Wolfe Wolf didn't just faint. There is something about that man that's very snake-like. He was happy to sit behind uh, Gerard Batten and to praise Gerard Batten, but as soon as Gerard Batten was having to step down because his time as interim leader was up, Mike Hookham started to turn against him. So there is something about that man that I don't like. I advise you to look closely at this. Please do not vote for Mike Hookham. So that's just my message for today. Thank you for watching. And until next time, easy.